Hey, I'm live. I'm not often late, but I am today for some reason. Uh, today, I have a massive clothing thrift haul for you guys. It's one and a half weeks of sourcing. Everything I show you today, you can buy right now. And also, before I start that, I've had a request to go over how to send coupons on eBay through buyer groups. So I will probably be doing that first. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Beth and I live in the Houston area. Let's go ahead and launch this reseller robo. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Normally, I am working, but I am off today. I should say that, but I've had several calls from the office, so I've let them know that I'm unavailable until this show is over. So let's go ahead and welcome Glenn. You are first. How are you doing, Glenn? How's your day going? How are sales going for everybody? Uh, we may talk about my sales a little bit. Um, hey, Amelia, how are you? What's up with you? I haven't seen a video from you since December. I guess you were all vlogged out. I was thinking about doing another vlog um, in the near future now that I'm selling appliance parts. So, but your vlogmas was awesome. So I watched every single one of them. Hey, Landshark Picker, who is working? I've been working today and I've been doing inventory. So, and trying to put inventory away in the garage, but it's freezing out there gosh we were under 20 degrees during the night in the in we're like in the low 20s now i think and so my garage is so cold it is too cold to work over over here in texas that's right not craig at work i have one coming out tonight oh you took a bit of time off from the videos i just cannot believe how many videos you put up in December. I mean, I only put one or two vlogs and it was just all I could do is just, it's a lot of work. Um, some of the clips were done on my laptop and some were done on my phone and trying to figure out which one came first. And it was just, a, it was, it was a lot, you know? So, and then working on my podcast, um, has taken a lot of my time as well. So, it ha is up to 27 here now. Awesome. How's the other channel going? It looked good. Okay, well, majority of the people who listen to my podcast, Craig, listen to it on Spotify and iTunes. And every month it changes. Like this month right now, the majority are listening on iTunes. And then it switches. I don't know why. So, and I just now put my uploaded my RSS feed to the new YouTube podcast section. I don't know. Everybody said to do it because Google podcast, they're getting away, uh, rid of it. And it's now going to be called YouTube podcast. So I'm not really sure how I read my analytics on that one, but that's not reselling related. So we'll move on. Uh, getting good response. I'm running out of people to interview though. And I'm a little bit panicked. Um, some of these uh, Facebook pages have uh, squashed my, my posts because I've been telling people, you know, I have openings for interviews and they were letting me do it for a while. And now I noticed that they're not approving my posts. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to get interviews with people. So if you guys know anybody who has OCD, who would be willing to come on and share their story with me, uh, hint, hint, please let them know and let them contact me. I'm very easy to work with. I'm very flexible. So, um, and I've been told that I'm doing a good job on the interviews and making people feel comfortable. So, you know, okay. So, um, all right. So I had a request to do this from one of my fall. I'm going to go ahead and say Anissa. Anissa wanted me to show again, how to, um, send out coupons on buyer groups on eBay. And I have, I have some things to say about that before we do the haul. Um, I do have some things to say about buyer groups because some people don't understand them. I didn't understand them. Um, you just go up to marketing and to buyer groups. So let me go ahead and share my screen real quick and show you how I do it. 
And I think I've sent out I think I've sent out all my buyer groups today, so I don't think I can show some of it, but can definitely show how to make a buyer group. Uh, hold on, I got to get a pull up a Word document here. It working okay so you just go like i said you just go up to marketing and you go up to you go to buyer groups now um the thing a lot of people don't understand is that when you create a buyer group when you start sending out coupons like right now i have about 15 buyer groups maybe 20 um, it won't let me send out any coupons. It'll say send coupon right here in purple. I've already sent them out today and that's why, but I would just right click on each one of them and send the coupons. But what some people don't understand is you need to create new buyer groups periodically. Um, Tech and Sports sent, creates new buyer groups every single day. I don't do that because I'm a small store and if I created new buyer groups every single day, I would have lots of these that would say zero because I won't be getting any new that many new sales and that many new followers in my store. And I don't want to keep sending out a coupon that zero people are going to get. So for that reason, I usually create new buyer groups like once a week. And you can see some of them are very small, like this one only reaches 30 people, but this one reaches 685. So when I try to send out 15 a day, um, back in like November, I could send out 15 buyer group coupons a day without creating a new buyer group. But what happened was I didn't realize that one time I created a buyer group and I sent them like a 50 or 60% off coupon. And so months later, all these people are getting these 50%, 60% off coupons in their email box and they weren't working because they had already expired. And since I didn't know which one of these buyer groups had those coupons on it, I had to delete every single freaking buyer group. So looks like back in November, I started um, creating buyer groups again. Um, so all I do is name it the date and some of them have the same date, but so I'm going to go ahead and create um, three buyer groups right now. And this one right here, this interested buyers, I've tried that. That is where eBay will auto send offers to people. I tried that a couple of weeks ago and it was not sending offers out. I don't know why. I thought I said it, said it correctly. I looked at it. I tried to edit it. It, it looked just fine. I said every, all of my inventory um, do this from now till whenever and it, it's not sending out offers so i just turned it off so what you want to look at anissa is um previous customers first what i do is i do more than 30 days i put the date which today is the 16th and then i save my buyer group it says that i will reach between 1264 to 1625 um that really is not true for me. The most I think I've ever sent out before was like 800, maybe a thousand at one point. Okay. So I, my coupon is sent for 25% off. These are people who have already shopped my store and I have a little blurb here and I've showed you guys this before that says we combine U S shipping. I finally got smart and put U S shipping. We combine U S shipping on multiple items, $3.50 shipping, handling on additional items, 60 day free returns. We appreciate offers, inventory added daily. And I send the coupon and then I hit done. And then I go back and I want to create another one for previous customers. And I want to do less than 31 days. And this is what I'm saying. If you don't get very many sales during the month, you're creating buyer groups that nobody's going to get anything. I name it the same thing. It doesn't matter. You can name it Mickey Mouse for all you care. I give them my 25% off coupon and it's a private coupon. And then I send that one and then I'm done. And then the last buyer group I create is for followers in my store. Any duration, they can be starting any, any time. 
you know, they've, they favored in my store. Again, it's the name of, um, it's the date right there. Save the buyer group and send, I don't send them the daily coupon because a lot of people don't check their emails every day. And if I send them Wednesday's, Tuesday's coupon, they won't, you know, they won't do it. So that's buyer groups. If we go back here, um, again, like you said, it's, it says zero on these. These are 116 because it's still, it's still working on it, but this will, once people start answering their emails, this number should go up. So let me go ahead and um, stop that for right now. We have any questions about buyer groups initially, you can always message me later after the live stream and let me know if you have any question. There she is, finally got you live. I just did buyer groups. <laughs> Also, another way of sending out coupons and sales is through newsletters. However, when I look at the amount of, because it does show you when you go to newsletters, how much money you've made in 90 days, it's very little for me, like maybe $150, which, hey, $150 is $150, right? But um, I don't really make that much money from the newsletters. But hey, Mike, how are you? It was so nice hanging out with you yesterday. Really enjoyed it. Is everybody's coming in. Anissa, did you get that? If I don't know when you came in, you may have to go back a little bit. Um, I don't know about very good at it, but I do it very consistently. So what if you have no buyers? Well, then, you know, don't waste your time. No, these are buyers from way back. So you don't have any sales right now, Craig? Um. My sales are up 20% from last month. I don't know why. I'm really excited. My Poshmark, I had a $121 bundle sale this morning to ship out. Um, so Posh and eBay seem to be doing really well for me. I sold a part from that machine I parted out last week. It was a Chef Man um, espresso machine. I sold the milk frother for $55 this morning, shipped it out. Um, almost all the pieces from the Cuisinart SS15 that I parted out on live a couple of weeks ago have sold. I think I have two more, two filters left. So the parts are going extremely well considering I have less than 100 parts listed. Um, I'm trying to set aside two full days a week to work on parts. So this week it will be Wednesday and Thursday. I'm just going to look at my schedule and see. So I have all my appliances sitting on my kitchen table, unfortunately for my wife. And I will go tonight and um, fill out my sheets, throw everything in the dishwasher. So tomorrow I can just start, you know, listing. Uh, yeah, that's good to hear because I didn't know what else to do. I was like, I don't know. Okay, so today, like I said, I have two, I have a major massive haul. If you see something that you might want to purchase on this live stream, all these items that I hold up, and even after the fact, you can always message me. It would appre I would appreciate a timestamp so that I can find it because this is a lot of items. This is probably 150 items here minus men's shirts. Men's shirts are boring, so I pulled those out. Uh, anyway, any of the items I will sell you for $10 shipped if they're under a pound, $12 shipped if they're over a pound, but I don't have very many things that are over a pound. So, you know, give you a good deal. And uh, hey, Ciro, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while, but I really haven't been going live very much. So I don't know. My poor mail person today, my mail carrier, I was so glad he was on the clock because I had a lot of things to ship out and I was so afraid he wasn't going to be here today because it's so cold. I figured I was going to get some person. I want to say lazy, but hey, people are lazy. I've already had twice this year. Today's the 16th. Twice already this year I've had to send nasty emails because they don't, they just walk on by my house. Just walk on by my house. That ring doorbell really uh, helps. I really don't think it matters a lot if you have a lot of parts listed. If you have the part that need, it moves. Yeah, I think I'm comping better this time, Mike. I really do think I'm comping better. To me, if the machine is selling itself fast, then I feel like the part should sell fast. That's how I'm looking at it. So um, another good thing that helped us this weekend with the ring doorbell is... My wife yelled at me the other day. She says, come here, come here. I need your help. 
and she was bringing in a big, big case of water. And when she opened the storm door, her wedding ring flew off and she's like, I can't find it. And I said, well, did you hear it bounce? And she said, I heard it bounce, but I didn't hear it roll. So we were out there for the longest time looking, you know, in the, we have two flower beds in the direction that we thought it should have gone. That's where we were looking. Right. And so, you know, I said, well, I was getting dark and I said, well, let's just wait till dark and I'll get a flashlight and maybe it'll shine and I'll see it better. And she goes, I'm going to look at the ring doorbell. And so she got the ring doorbell pulled up and you can see when she's opening the door exactly where that ring flew. And I was like, okay, it was behind her. It wasn't to the left like it should have been. So I went out there and sure enough in the flower bed, it was turned sideways and there it was. Oh, she was so happy. Um, she's losing weight. I'm losing weight. So I uh, still can't get this other ring off though. Um, it's getting there, but my wedding rings came off. I don't know. Um, Craig says sell through rate trumps all other metrics in the algorithm. Yeah. Well, my, my thing was it was just the machines that were selling well and, and not the parts. They didn't have parts up. So I thought, well, maybe some of these people need parts and they can't find them. So they're buying the machine again. I don't know. So I'm just saying, hi, the more you sell, the more eBay wants you to sell because they make more money. Yeah, some people don't believe that, but I don't believe in conspiracy theories. I just, I have a feeling I kind of know where I went wrong, but. I don't want to say it because I may be wrong. I have to go to UPS. They are closing early due to the cold. Stay safe, Glenn. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and send out some juju right now. And bum crack picker, if you are there, please come out of the woodwork. <laughs> Let's get this show going. If you don't like clothes and you don't need clothes, I encourage you to stay and talk to your friends, get some work done or take a break. Also encourage you to hit the thumbs up before you forget. Okay. Yoda is talking to me already. Um, I hope it's not the office. I told him, please don't please. Oh, I just had a sale on Poshmark banana Republic. Um, Looks like it sold for a whopping $13, but it looks like I've had this pair of jeans listed since February of 2022. I will take $13 for that and get it out of my store. All right, so here we go. First is a new with tags, Isaac Mizrahi Live, size large. If you need um, fabric content or measurements on screen, I will be glad to do that or off. It's a knit top. And the only thing about it is the, uh, the tag, the brand tag has disconnected on one side, but if, uh, somebody will buy that, no problem. So my metrics are now guys, plus sizes, extra large and up only except for certain brands and Isaac Mizrahi live, um, happens to be one of those brands because that was new with tags. If it would have been just a live large, I would not have purchased it. Okay. I did see some Isaac Mizrahi yesterday and I didn't get them. Russell Kemp woman, uh, size five X. It's a real pretty top. It's kind of textured and I'm going to try to go as fast as I can, because like I said, I have a lot, but I appreciate y'all coming in and visiting. Ask me any questions. Um, you know, let's have some fun because this is my day off. And the reason I took the day off is because today was grandparents day, um, but it got canceled due to the weather. So I wanted to go ahead and give my assistant the hours because she didn't get to work yesterday. United States sweaters, Maggie, if you're watching after the fact, 
2224W. This is the one I was talking about when I was talking to you on the phone. It has metallic thread. It's beige with gold metallic thread. I wish you could see it. It's made in the USA. And it, um, the tag was very, very interesting. So Maggie, I appreciate you talking to me yesterday while I was thrifting because I was getting a little anxious and uh, Dreams Company. I just sold a Dreams Company this morning on Poshmark. This is a 1X. It happens to be Christmas. I did pick up several Christmas items yesterday and probably last week that's also in this haul. But I sell Christmas all year round. These will go in my Royal Flush category, so they will not get marked down after six months. This is great for Valentine's Day. I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side so I can list it first. Um, it's just a really cute t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. Really nice though. I'll try to say the sizes for people watching. It's an extra large. So yeah, I wouldn't have gotten if it wouldn't. It's so pretty. Yeah, I'm going to put that over there and get that listed tomorrow. Um, all right. So the next one is by Reba extra large Reba sells extremely well for me, but I've never sold a top like this with the laser cut and the button up and also has sequins on it. I've only sold the tunics in Reba, but um, they sell very, very, very well. Lucky today with what <sighs> with due to weather schools close today and tomorrow. Yeah, I know. My daughter's been home with her kids for two days. She's tired of it. I can't thrift and talk on the phone. Ha ha. You know, I used to always complain about people talking on the phone when they thrifted, but I have my little headset now. And because I've had some panic attacks in the thrift store, I just said, you know what? Screw it. When I start getting anxious, I need to go ahead and get distracted. And I needed to call Maggie anyway and talk to her so it is you know it killed two birds with one stone and then a little while later i know she's getting tired of me talking she goes well you sound better now and i'm like okay bye <laughs> lane bryant 2628 it says something i sometimes i color outside the lines um shirts like this are selling well in the big girls i sold a taco shirt today on poshmark it was in my 121 dollars bundle um Zanana out Zanana Premium 3X is not really anything big about it, but Zanana sells pretty well for me in the large sizes. I said I wasn't going to get plain t-shirts, but this was a large size and um, I went ahead and that probably was a broken rule there. If it wasn't for it being Zanana. Shenanigans 2XL button up, lots of embroidery. Shenanigans sells really fast for me in the sweaters. So I thought I would take a chance on this cute top. I don't know. Um, I mean, both shenanigans sweaters I listed sold really, really quickly. I don't know. Alfred Dunner, extra large. Uh, there you go, Anissa. This is adorable, stretchy, textured. Um, Alfred Dunner is still going strong for me. And I'm only picking it up and extra large and up from now on. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got any thing. Woman Within 2224. This was just a really cute splotchy tie-dye shirt. And this is a crepe top. Ooh. Hey, Anissa, I wanted to ask you a question if you're still here. When you I have some scrub tops, okay. Uh, when you list a used scrub top, are you listing it in the scrub tops category? Because in the past, when I've tried to list them, they want me to put a UPC code, which I don't have. So I've had to be listing the scrub tops just under women's tops. I haven't tried in the last few months to pull up, put them in scrubs. Can you answer that question for me? Because if I can do it now, I'd rather list it in scrubs, but... Alfred Dunner, extra large. I saw a really pretty uh, white cross uh, scrub top in this the other day that was just floral. It was in a 3X. It sold like almost right away on Poshmark. Isn't that cute with the layers? Yeah. Did I say that? That's another Alfred Dunner, extra large. This is so cute. I've never sold this one before. You're there. Okay. I'm going to let you answer that question. Coral Bay, extra large. Um, 
Coral Bay is hit and miss for me right now, but I went ahead and picked it up because it was really cute. Um, Craig, are you continuing to sell clothes in your other store and how's that going? Uh, CJ Banks 3X. Um, it's got embroidery on it. It has shoulder pads. Really cute embroidery on the back. This is a sweater cardigan with square buttons. Uh, Maggie told me today she has uh, sold three of the items I sent her in her 20 item reseller box. And I did send her some CJ Banks because she doesn't get it in her area. So I don't have any reseller boxes available right now. I will do it on request. But until I get this appliance part schedule going, I'm I'm just probably not going to have any resale boxes, at least till February. Coral Bay, again, petite, extra large. I don't know what it is about Coral Bay, but um, it just kind of depends on the pattern for those. But they're popular. Okay, I think this is one I broke my rule on. No, Ruby Road, Petite Extra Large. This isn't the one I was thinking about. Isn't this cute? I've been picking up Ruby Road more. This has a tie in front. Super stretchy. I didn't used to pick up Ruby Road much, but it's starting to sell now. So uh, 2X, another Alfred Dunner. This is pretty. I think I've sold this one in the past, though. This looks extremely familiar. After all, after all, it just all runs together. Uh, I never, I have never, ever had an issue with eBay making me put UPCs in, so I don't have an answer. Really? Huh. Crystal, I missed working with you. A oh, very fair thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, hit me up sometime. I, I want to work with you. I want to talk to you. I put my used in pre-owned and no issue. Really? All this time? Because I think I've talked to you about this issue before, and I've had to put it in tops. And I know, I mean, I'm still selling. Well, I don't know. I'm selling them on Poshmark, so I don't know if I've been selling them on eBay or not. But dang it. Okay. All right. Now we got a couple. We got some pants here. These are Lee All Day Pants. They're khakis. They're just adorable. And um, they look super comfy. And Lee is very popular in my store. And it's a 24W. So... Yeah, I went, I've, been, I've been getting Lee's because they've been selling for me. And I don't know why. I used to just get the comfort waist, but those were so freaking cute. I couldn't put them, I couldn't pass them up. Uh, North Style Extra Largest is Raimi Cotton. And it, it's, again, this is another um, Christmas. And so it may sit. I'll probably, I may sell it in the summer or even sooner you just never know i i mean i sold a lot of christmas stuff in january so i don't know i don't remember talking to you about that in the past but my memory's not the best well i think i talked to you when you were on in the chat and i was on air i think i asked you that but all right cold water creek 2x um another another creek that's done well for me is cabin creek I know my mother used to wear Cabin Creek, and my mother-in-law had a lot of Cabin Creek in her closet, and I've sold most of it. So when I've been seeing Cabin Creek, I've been picking it up. because, And I think there's probably a, a Cabin Creek in here somewhere, because I see it kind of, kind of a lot. Um, another thing that sells well for me are button-up shirts, and Maggie says she doesn't pick up button-up shirts, but they always sell well for me. This is a wild top. This is by Raffaella. It's a 1X. It's an open um, cardigan duster. Just super, super wild. I love it. Shark bit. I don't know if I could get away with wearing it, but it's super wild. Uh okay anybody make a sale yet this looks like a lee lee has a a way of looking that now writers by lee this is a 4x button-up shirt yoda's talking again my favorite color i i would wear this i would wear this no problem um, although i don't really wear many button-up shirts but i love that pattern all right, this is a sweater, mock turtleneck by 
Liz and Me, Zero X, really, really cute, short sleeve. Kind of a, it's a waffle knit. It's a really pretty color. What's up, Crystal? What's been going on in your life? I never see you. And I'm here every day working, just working pretty much every day. J Jill, extra large. I've been not picking up Pure Jill for a, for a while because Pure Jill has gone for me. Um, I mean, I would in an extra large, but not in the larges anymore. It's just, and I, I talked to Megan Mawinney, and she said Pure Jill is um, not doing well. Look at that cardigan, that powder blue. So cute. Megan Mawinney said the Pure Jill has stopped selling for her, too, which is a bummer because I see a lot of it. Um, who's that? Hey, Rita, are you at work? All right, this is a JM collection. Uh, this is... I don't know what size. 18. These are just cute chocolate brown pants. They're just, they feel so nice. And JM Collection tops sell super, super well for me. I don't know how the pants are going to fit, uh, sell, but, you know. Hey, there's Chick Picker. Hey, Valerie. Are you getting lots of work done? All right, here's one where I broke my rule. And when I was on the telephone with Maggie, she said I would break that rule too. This is Leoma Lovegrove, size medium. Leoma Lovegrove does really well in my store. I think I've sold this before. If not, it was a different seahorse. But I have sold, and this is awesome because it has the tie in front of it. Uh, if Bridget's here, she knows they sell Leoma Lovegrove at Kohl's. But it sells really, really well in my store. I can almost spot them when I'm going down the aisle. And when I don't have a lot of time, sometimes I'll go down some of the aisles very, very fast. And look, and that's one that I look for. Uh, Palm Grove Petite Extra Large. Okay, this sells. This will sell so well. I will put Townscape, Beachscape, anything Townscape will sell well in my store. And that's why I got it. This is super stretchy just super cute it's got the rhinestones on the front but not on the back but the same this is so cute people love townscapes i don't know why um sometimes there i think i have one that's scripted too it's got writing over it i just write scripted i don't usually write what it says woman within 26 28 i've been really really holding off on woman within i've got a whole lot of it in my store but this was just too, too cute for words so, but like the pants, the t-shirts, um, I've got, I'm over, I'm saturated in my store with them. So Valerie, what's up? Um, I was talking to Mike yesterday and summer and summer and Mike asked about you and I was telling him how hard you work. She works so hard. Um, this is a snap up shirt by styling company 2x it's really cute it's pleated little peasantry going on with a little cap sleeve green really cute may have shrunk a little bit all right don't forget to hit the like button okay here's a here's a brand i wasn't selling much of st john's bay 2x i mean they used to sell that at sears but recently st john's bay has started to sell for me so i thought well i'll just pick this up uh, may have picked up another one. I think this is from yesterday's haul. I got so many clothes. I have three tubs and I'm getting close to the first end of the first tub. All right, guys, this has some writing on it. Well, we got here. Oh, no, it doesn't. This is kind of ugly, but I got it anyway because I think somebody will like it. It's beaded flowers. I mean, when you look up it up close, it's kind of ugly. But from the back, it looks kind of cool. And I just thought somebody might like it. And it's by Miracle Suit. And all my Miracle Suits swimsuits have sold like within a month. So I thought I'm going to get it because it's Miracle Suit. And somebody might want it. I just think it's kind of gaudy when you look at it up front, um, close up. Valerie, how's it going? Rita says. 
This is by Jones New York 2X. These are stretchy pull-on dress pants. Super stretchy waistband. And they're very buttery. I gotta get my they're very buttery and slick. So Jones New York does sell well for me also. One of my few pairs of jeans. These were over by the dresses. Another Riders by Lee, but again, it's got that comfort waistband. They're black and they're in wonderful, wonderful shape. And I don't know if they're boot cut or not, but they have a little bit of bling on the pocket. So, yeah. How do you guys think I'm doing so far? All right, this is a Paisley print. This is by Miss Elaine, extra large. This is a nightgown. You guys know I love to sell nightgowns now and pajamas and pajama, you know, pajama sets. I'm not really picking up pajama pants by themselves, and I'm not really picking up pajama tops like, like a Nick and Nora button-up top. I won't pick it up if it doesn't have the pants. And in my place, they don't usually have the set, so... But this is a really cute nightgown. It will sell. I've sold Miss Elaine over and over. Just um, sold a pajama set today. Another Zanana 1X. This is a t-shirt dress. And it has pockets, which are inside out. So always be sure you check the pockets before you put them in the wash. All right, this is a cable knit sweater. I didn't pick up very many sweaters because it's not because it's not it's getting ready to be spring. It's because I'm kind of running out of space in my sweater tubs. 3X, and this is by Chaps, and Chaps does super well for me. So, and it's a 3X, and it's a beautiful color. And it may sit around a little while, but that's okay. I think this is by Catherine's. Catherine's 1X. This is a sheer, whoo, look at this. Really pretty though. Overlay top. Again, let me know if you would like a reseller box. I'll be glad to put one aside for you. I don't cherry pick. I give you the same things that you're seeing here. Um, okay, this is another Lee. Let's see. Riders by Lee, mid-rise boot cut, super stretchy waistband, mid-rise boot cut, black. They're in excellent, excellent shape. I should have no trouble selling these, um, these jeans. All right, let me do a switcheroo here. Let me turn the big butt camera off for just a second and do a switcheroo. So tired. Our dog kept us up last night coughing because of the heater. We had to turn the heater way down so he would stop coughing. And um, my other dog was under the electric blanket. She doesn't have much hair, but um, he won't sleep under there. So we had to just keep turning the air down. Callie, why are you looking at the waffle maker? I don't make waffles. I bought a waffle maker to part out. I don't know if it's, I don't know why I bought it, but I did. Uh, Catherine's 1X, this is a really cute studded top, tunic, shark bit. I've probably sold this a lot of times, I would imagine. Every time I find a Catherine's I haven't sold, I get real excited. Uh, they're starting to get boring after a while. This has a lace-up back, so... Oh, this doesn't have hasn't had the tag removed. Callie, you cannot get on my lap right now. I'm sorry. 
Um, here's another brand that sells really well for me. Extra, extra large. It's a Maurice's top. This is the back. And it's very, this brand is cheaply made, but it sells really well for me right now, especially on Poshmark. And there were two Maurice's, I think, in my $121 bundle today. So they still, people still like it, you know. Let me know if you sell some of these brands. Um, if you would never pick some of these up, let me know. Let's get the conversation going. This is a Lucky Brand 1X Burnout shirt. I don't get much Lucky Brand, but again, I sold some luck. I sold a pair of men's Lucky Brand jeans on Poshmark the other day for $30. So people still like Lucky Brand. So pick it up if it's in the bigger sizes now. Now, Finney's going towards the waffle maker. And they are so bored. They're so stir crazy. And I don't want to take them out in this weather. So they're just walking around like they're lost. Uh, this is by Logo, Lori Goldstein, QVC, extra large, really pretty color, knit top, tunic. And it's also got pockets and it's shark bit. This won't sit around very long. This is a really pretty piece by logo Lori goldstein i have nothing i have nothing for you guys all right this must be a dress i didn't get very many dresses romans 22w i debated because romans has kind of stopped selling for me but i went, didn't want to pass this up because i got it cheap it's a beautiful pattern dress and brands come and go so who knows? It might pick up. Like I, I think Sag Harbor kind of took over Romans for me in my store. I started selling Sag Harbor like crazy. And um, hey, there's Summer. How are you? I was just talking about you. <sighs> yeah, you sell Maurice's all the time too. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's got some really. They've got some really cute clothes. You know, um, another CJ Banks 3X. This is a lace up the front. Um, uh, this, I don't know what you would call this watercolor, I guess. Yeah, it's cute. Really cute. All right. Next we have something that's open. Tahari Extra Large. Now, Tahari didn't used to sell very well for me. It's an open duster. No, ma'am. Excuse me. I'm sorry. My dog is trying to get in my lap. But... I don't know. I just thought this was really pretty. Tahari used to be like back when Nicole State started. She used to always say to pack to pick up Tahari, but um, you know, I tried it and it didn't work for me. But that was cute. I thought. Uh, Woman within five X. Love me some five X. This is cute. Now, it has a little spot on the back, I think. So, I'm going to put a little clip there. That I that will come out with Grandma's spot remover before I even put it in the wash. Just a teeny tiny, I don't know how you get a spot on the back. I don't know. Like that, right by your neck. But, sweetie, you got to go. You got to go. You need a shoe. Shoe. Y'all need to go outside? Hold on a second, guys. Let me see if they'll go outside. Um, come here. You need to go outside? No, we're not going that way. We're going this way. I think they're going on a WALK, but they're not. Come on. Guys, don't let me forget that my dogs are out there because <laughs> it's cold out there. Um. I don't know if y'all remember a couple of years ago when Callie wouldn't come in and it was pouring down rain and lightning. Do y'all remember that? And I had to go outside and during my live stream and I came back and I was soaking wet. She was under the bushes. Oh, God, those were good times, man. This is another open knit. This is LuLaRoe. It's an open duster. It, it's really cute. Uh, I love selling these because they're not very heavy. This one might be. But the pattern is just adorable. Um, I just can't see the pattern that well, but 
I, I would wear something like this if it was my size, I think, over something. Um, again, I'm not picking up anything LuLaRoe under extra large and has to be really cute. Hey, where have you been hiding, Summer says. Okay, I still think Bumcrack is here. He may be mad at me because I did not make his video last night. I'm still, what I'm trying to do on this video for bum crack is change my voice to where I go, uh, where are you? And I'm trying to change my voice and I don't know how to do that. So, all right. I originally bought this for myself, but um, the pants are too long and I don't want to have to go get them altered. I mean, I'm tall, but I'm not this tall. This is by Perceptions. Um, I don't even know if it's my size, but it's got it's got shoulder pads. It's a jacket, and then it has green pants or they're grayish blue. I don't really have anything dressy for work like that, and there are times when I need to kind of dress up more. And the, these are the pants, but man, the pants are super long, and I don't know. I might go get. I just don't like to go get things tailored. I, and I'm five nine and a half, five ten, and those are way too long on me. Uh, Talbots 18W. These are khaki pants. Now, my Talbots pants have been selling really well lately, and the comps on them have been about sixteen dollars. Um, so I set these at twenty seven ninety nine, or best offer, and they should sell. Summer, are sales back up for you today? Um, LuLaRoe 2XL. Again, this is animal print. It was really, really cute. It was a 2XL. I shouldn't have uh, any trouble selling that one. And Reba again, 3X. This is more of what I've sold in the past, like a tunic. They sell really well. And I believe they are Reba McIntyre. Uh, this is by Cable Engage 2X. I don't know how many of you sell Cable Engage, but I did sell a few uh, last month that were given to me. And so I went ahead and picked this up just because it feels really, really nice and soft. It's got the roll tab sleeve. It's, it's just super, super soft. Let's see what it's made out of, but I don't know. I just felt like this was really a winner for some reason. I don't know what it's made out of. Polyester, viscose, and spandex. I don't know. I'm just going to put very soft on that one. Okay, time to let the dogs in. Um, Callie will... Um, why are there two of me? Come on. Come on. You coming in? Okay. All right, go. No, I'm not giving you anything. You just had something a few minutes ago. Okay, I have... It says add to stage. Stop screen. There were two of me. That's scary. Scary thought. Okay, what is this? This is purple. Isaac Mizrahi Live. This is a 5X. Like I said, I wasn't really getting plain t-shirts with no print, but because this was a 5X and it was a Mizrahi Live, I just decided to go ahead and do it, you know. I love those larger sizes. Uh, nope, just accepted one offer, but no payment yet. Other than that, that's it. Well, crap. Even uh, changing your promoted listings, huh? You said you changed your promoted listings. Um, you upped it like 1% or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. All right. Hang now. So don't want to. I think I'm going to start taking a emery board into the thrift because it, it seems like I always get a hangnail there. Avenue 2224. This is adorable. I love the green with the black 
really cute. Um, something with rhinestones. Catherine's 1X. I don't think I've sold that one before either. This one has lace sleeves, which is nice. Rhinestones, laser cut, really cute. Um, would you call that a medallion print? That's what I would call it, but I don't know what any of you would call that. Crystal, if you're still in the chat, we've talked about this, I think. There's a name for it. Another sweater. This is a Christmas sweater, but I could not pass it up. I double checked though to make sure it did not have a, a place to light up because I got screwed with that light up one. Um, this is a Mary Pugmas. Now this will sell. Okay. This will sell. Um, it's adorable. Mary Pugmas. I didn't even see the Pugmas on there. I thought it just said Merry Christmas with a pug, but no, Mary Pugmas. Cute, 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 cute. Um, Waterburger shirts are a no-brainer for me. So this was a medium, but I don't care because it's Waterburger and it will sell for me. It's a long sleeve tee. Broke my rule because of that. Um, all, I've sold all of my employee Waterburger shirts, I think, but one. With you know, it only took a couple of months to sell those. Um, we're big on Waterburger here in Houston. This is adorable. I remember this one. Ruby Road again, a sleeveless knit. It has pockets, side pockets. It's just adorable. I love it. And it's hard to see because it's see through. But the pattern is so pretty. It's so pretty. May have to rethink purchasing some of those. Uh, it worked at first, I guess, but back to nothing. It's okay. I'll figure it out. I know you will. Mike, did you stay in today? Crystal. Yeah, medallion or mandala. <sighs> mandala. Okay. Probably just put floral, huh? Really? Okay. Oh, here's another one. Super soft. Now, this is uh, Arizona jeans, extra, extra large. Hardly ever pick up Arizona jeans, anything. But look at this. This is another overlay knit. But look at this. Boho. Fringe. It's so, so cute. Um. So many keywords here. Um, look at that. I had to get it. I don't know how much I'll get for it, but I loved it. I mean, I can't even tell you how many. Maybe I've picked up one other Arizona jeans item ever. This is not my, you know. It's not a brand I pick up. All right. JM Collection Extra Large. JM Collection just continues to do well in my store. So I just keep picking it up with the laser cut and the paisley and the rhinestones and I don't know. Oh, this is pretty. This has silver uh, metallic Alfred Dunner 1X. This is so pretty. This knit sweater. Um, I know y'all can't see it, but it's got, it's just sparkly like crazy with the metallic thread. This is so pretty. Gray with silver metallic. All right, we got it here. I'm trying to watch the chat. Maggie's here. Needed supplies. Did you, oh, so did you go to the post office, Mike? I thought you didn't come on until 4.30. No, it was supposed to be 2.30 my time. But then I had some issues with the dogs, and so I was late. So, okay. All right, so next one is JM Collection again, extra, extra large. Maggie, all of these clothes are for sale, and I've already held up quite a bit. So, now this has, what do you call this? I guess it's embroidery. Yeah, it's embroidered all throughout. Just a really fine blue stitch. Can you see this right here? 
all that right there is all embroidered all over the whole place to make it texture. And somebody will see you coming in this. Anybody made a sale yet? Come on, guys. Am I going to have to play another Juju song? Y'all going to make a sale. I've already made my quota today, I think. I mean, I, I woke up and my sales were already over $100 when I first woke up. And I haven't made a sale since. So, I don't know. I mean, I think eBay kind of cuts me off sometimes. Although, one day I did the 197 over the weekend. I think it was Saturday. They didn't cut me off that day. But sometimes I think they cut me off. All right, I don't normally get Karen Scott, but this is a 2X, and i it's a cute Christmas embroidered denim shirt, and i it's very lightweight. I won't have to put it in my sweater tubs. It will fold up and go just fine and the, with my regular my inventory, so I thought I would try it. It's just, it's very, very cute, and, you know, I'm going to have to say this quietly. Um, some of my mother-in-law's clothes were kind of frumpy but they're selling. <laughs> so this to me is kind of like that. And I've sold a lot of it and frumps are on eBay, right? So, or other people are buying for their parents, I guess. I don't know. Um, this is a popcorn sweater. So it's by Charter Club, extra large popcorn sweater. It's small popcorn, but it's it's cute. Again, I don't think I have... Yeah, I'll probably put that in my sweater boxes. It's kind of thick. Okay. All right. Something... Man, I mean, I got a lot of these. I don't... I just... I see a lot. Do y'all see a lot of these open cardigans and dusters in your area? Because it seems... Oh, this one's not open. Never mind. Just ignore me. Catherine's 4X. Um... I guess that would be a Florida de Lee. It doesn't. Does, would that be a Florida de Lee? I don't think so. Maggie, Crystal, anybody? Uh, Valerie, Summer, all of y'all that sell clothes. That's not a Florida de Lee. I don't think you could get away with calling it that. What would you call that? That pattern. It's really cute. I don't think I've ever sold this one. Um, because if I had, I would probably remember what I put on it. So, if you're watching after the fact, you can put it in the comments below if nobody's answered. Uh, this is by Sag Harbor, um, 3X, cute t-shirt, well, it's, it's a button-up, cute, very, very lightweight. This would be great for in the summer, maybe with a skirt, even. Really cute. My goal is to lose weight enough to where I feel comfortable wearing dresses or skirts. That's my goal. Um, next is this. I've sold this before. This is a Catherine sleep shirt, but it's a 0X, and it says, Tis the season to sleep. So another, um, this is more of a you know, long night shirt. Um, another Christmas. They had so much Christmas there yesterday. Ugh, so much Christmas. Um, it was unreal. I think this is a Moo Moo by Fundamentals. Extra large, very pretty colors. My, it has pockets. I think there's something in there. Probably Kleenex, right? If y'all find tissues and moos a lot, yeah, it's really pretty. My moos, it doesn't really matter what brand they are. They sell. They're cute. Um, one thing to note if you're selling moos, um, also the new thing is to put patio dress in the title. That's a really uh, popular keyword right now. Um, house dress. I put Moo Moo, Kaftan, and now I'm putting Patio because that's the new keyword that a lot of people are putting in. Motherhood, Maternity, 2X. I'm still selling Maternity, but I've decided only extra large. And uh, my Maternity stuff was selling just fine, but since I've switched only to Plus pretty much, 
I mean, I guess if I saw something that was like a really, really big brand maternity wear, which I don't even know what that would be. Um, and it was a large, I might get it, but I don't even know what a great maternity brand is. So I don't know. These are a pair of beautiful velour green pants. They're by Alfred Dunner. Um, I won't get a lot for them, but they're 18W. And the reason I got them, they're a beautiful green, is because I've had a couple of people buy these before and I'm in other colors. And so I'm kind of hoping they'll come back and get this beautiful green because I've had the blue ones and I've had the beige ones. And so I thought, you know what? I haven't had a pair of these in my store. They're just, they feel so good. Normally I don't pick up the pants though. Even the new with tags ones, I hardly ever, it depends the size, but another Christmas. <laughs> can't believe I did this. In Santa, I, in Santa's naughty list. Oh, well, that is in or on? On Santa's naughty list. Like I was going to say, that's not grammatically correct. These are in, uh, naughty is in sequins. Red and um, white sequins, long, t long sleeve t-shirt, 2024 Lane Bryant. So see, that's a good brand. So that's why I bought it. Probably wouldn't have bought it if it was a good brand. Well, there's Angie. How are you? It was good seeing you this morning in Josh's chat. You love that calf can. Isn't it pretty? I know. Summer is here. A patio dress is usually heavily embroidered in Native American inspired from the 40s and 50s. Interesting. Well, uh, I bet the sequins flip. Yeah, they do. They do flip. Um, yeah, but I don't know why, but they're People are searching patio dress for Kafkan and Mumu right now. I don't know why. Um, Simply Emma, 1X. This is adorable. Just really pretty uh, tunic. Almost done with the second tub. And then we'll just have one tub left. And then I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I may just, since I'm off today, I may go sit in the living room and snuggle with the dogs and measure men's shirts and that Valentine shirt. So I don't know. Uh, Lula Row, extra large. What is this? This is a dress. Haven't sold this uh, pattern before. It's a t-shirt dress. Only got it because it's an extra large and because it's cute and unusual. I don't really get the stripes anymore. I don't really get the checks anymore. Um, the florals sell pretty well though. And what have we got here? Uh, Fashion Bug 1X. Fashion Bug is not my favorite to sell. But this was like a mini dress, and it was animal print, and I love it. So I went ahead and got it. I don't know how many of you sell Fashion Bug. It's not my favorite brand to sell, but I will pick it up from time to time. I remember this one. Something good about this one. This is a Coldwater Creek 3X zip-up Um what are we going to call this? It's almost, I don't know what you call this. It's ribbed. It's not corduroy. It's knit. It's got the ribs. I don't know if I can get away with calling it a sweater. But what I love about it is it's got the zip up pockets on the shoulders. It's only got it on one shoulder. Um, mini turtleneck. Oh, no. It's, and then, yeah, it's got one over here on the sleeve. And then it's got pockets down here. It's just really cute. It, Staging this will be, this will sell. Staging this will be fun. And it's in the lime green and it's a 3XL. So, I don't know. All right. I saw this. This was, I didn't even go down this aisle. I mean, I didn't even go down like 30 aisles. Um, I was there two and a half hours and I still had like 30 aisles to go down. But I saw this from across the way and I thought, well, that looks interesting. And it is a... Mickey Mouse tank top and Walt Disney to say world Walt Disney World has a tie in the front and this is all glitter 
I don't know if you can see that. See the sparklies? It's kind of got some wear to it. It's kind of a little bit stretched out. But it was an extra large, and I've been really, really picky about my um, my Disney stuff now. And I just thought this was something I'd never seen before. And, yeah, it was all down the way. And I saw, I was like, what is that? Okay, I've got to turn off the big butt camera for one more second and switch to the last tub. Housekeeper came today and she couldn't even clean in here because I have so many tubs of clothes. I told her, I said, you just have to sweep around everything. Now, I found this behind us. Uh, I found this behind my Z rack, so I don't know how long it's been there. And hopefully, it's not gotten dirtier. Isn't that cute? That is Maggie Barnes. Uh, 20W. I think I had this set aside for a reseller box at one time and it kind of got, it fell out of the stack. And so I'm going to go ahead and sell it myself. And Maggie, um, I was telling the folks in the chat, you've already sold a few things from your reseller box that you got from me. I was so glad to know that. Be right back. That's cute. I don't know which one you're talking about, but okay, here's another one with, I got to have these big girls. I was going to wear this. I was going to wear this today, but I didn't have it. Uh, sorry. This is what fierce looks like. It's a three X. Let me take that off the screen. Sweatshirt, but it's a lightweight sweatshirt. And I may wear that on one of my live streams before I sell it because I like that. All right. Hmm. Jen's New York, extra large. What is this? Okay. This is cute. Kind of sheer though. But that's cute, huh? wonder how long it's going to take me to lose weight. <laughs> I've only lost, uh, in the last, well, today would be two weeks. I've lost 6.3 pounds as of yesterday, I think. And I don't weigh every day. So I'm trying to weigh about every three or four days. Uh, Pop Icon Skinny Old Navy. I don't pick up rock stars anymore unless they're super big. But this was a 24 and these are black and i just kind of like the way they look and they're distressed so they should sell quite easily distressed on the knees yeah both knees are distressed so we're good there another open is this another this is by marisa's extra large super lightweight I mean, there's hardly any material in this short sleeve open knit. It has pockets. So, I don't know. Um, JM collection again, extra, extra large. Why did I get this? Oh, because it has a cold shoulder. Because, like I said, I haven't really been picking up plain colors, but it had a cold shoulder, so I hadn't got it. I have sold a few things, which is great because I just listed them last week. Well, there's Bum Crack. How are you? Have you been here the whole time, or are you just now getting here? I finished uh, inventorying the entire blue section, which was 262 items. That took me a while. And so I'm going to give it a few. I have like about 90 drafts now because of, of those. I'm going to give it a couple of days and end and relist 
about 200 at a time. And because I think that's part of my problem is I'm not doing that anymore. And then I'm going to start on the, what's blue, brown section. But the brown section only has like 70 pieces. And I should be able to do that in about two or three days. I don't have any big sections anymore, in other words. So that was really holding me back. 207, what did I say? 232 items. Ugh. It was a lot. It was 292. Um, Lula Road 2XL. Why did I buy this? Oh, because it's new with tags and so cute. With these sleeves are adorable. It's new with tags. So it's called Remy. So I know how to list it, right? That's why I bought it. But the, I just love those sleeves. It's cute. So my advice to you would be to, to some of you is to, I mean, not that I'm right, is to write down what you want your metrics are. Like, you know, I'm only going to buy things that are $5 or less, or I'm only going to buy things that are from the 1950s back or, and then, you know, really have that in your head or on, written down when you go sourcing. And of course you can always break your rules for exceptions, right? But to really know, to it really, like, I think that's why it's only taking me two and a half hours now to source instead of three, because I'm getting just as many items. But I think it's because I'm just passing. When I see a medium, I just pass it. Like I don't even look at it anymore. Um, you know, I can tell if it's something that I'm going to want to look at more, but I think it's really helped me time-wise and getting, you know, I'm trying to make my store more compact. Um, you know how we always say you compartmentalize things in your head. Well, I want to kind of compartmentalize my store more. Uh, Avenue 2628 is just a sweater, but it was just really pretty tan I don't know that's gonna probably take a while to sell gotta get those larger sizes and also yesterday I decided I'm not gonna get any Kato <laughs> no Kato because my store is full of it right now and I broke my rule 22 24 W I just I had to get this it was just it's purple it's so beautiful and oh my gosh it's just so beautiful so i did break my my rule on this one um actually this might have been from two weeks ago before i made that rule i may find a few more kados but yeah i've decided not to get any more kados for right now until i sell some more off and same with worthington i'm not really picking up much worthington <laughs> So, ooh, I got a cha-ching. Worthington 1X. So, yeah, this was, I would not have bought this yesterday, probably. Or Monday, yeah, yesterday. But this, I think this is from two weeks ago. I've just got way too much Worthington. It sells, but I'm just, I got, I've built it. Same with live, 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 live and let live. I very rarely buy because I have so much still. And uh, Tara and Sky 4X. See, I would I don't know if I would have bought this yesterday, but it's got a tie in the front, which is really cute. So I don't know for summer, not summer in the chat, but for summer, summer. Uh, let me see what I sold. Finally, I got another sale here. I think that's what that was. Yeah. Got another sale. So now I'm up to 160 today. So that's, that's now that bumped me up to 21%. So what did I sell? A sunbeam. Okay. Mm. You know, what's so funny is I think I just bought this machine and it's sitting on my kitchen table. I think I just bought this machine again. This was what I got from Kimmy. So this is the lid. Um, when I did my short the other day from my car, 
I got over a thousand views on that short, by the way, but no subs, no new subs. But anyway, this was the machine that was in the back seat when I said I got a um, vintage food processor. So just ignore the customers' names. So it sold for twenty nine ninety nine. But they got 20% off, so they spent $25.94. So, like, I really think this appliance thing is going to work if I'm just very diligent about comps. I really do. You are lurking and working. Got to roll. Mike's going to an auction, or he's, he's over there tapping his screen. Try he he goes to these auctions online that have hard ends, hard closes instead of soft closes, and so he has to keep hitting the screen. Yeah. All right, this is kind of a pretty pattern. This is Cato again. See, I don't, I don't know. Eighteen W twenty W with the buckle. Cute. Cap sleeve. Maggie, I don't remember. Did I send you any Cato woman? I mean, it used to really, really sell well for me, but I've just got, I think I've got too much in my store right now. To... Okay, here we go with the scrubs, Anissa, if you're still here. Um, tell me if you sell this Premier by Healing Hands. This is a 3X. I picked up several of these, and I think I've sold some of this brand, and they're, they're very, very slick feeling. And this was a really pretty pattern. Um, here's another one. I think it's by the same brand. They had them all together. So I was like, what the heck? They were cheap and I'm pretty sure. Okay. This is Barco 3X. Uh, I think I've sold Barco before too. Now this is kind of weird. Why is the pocket on the side? Oh, it's got a back pocket. Never seen one with a, it's kind of got a side pocket, back pocket. And then one in the front. That's interesting. I wonder if they, that's like for their cell phones. That makes me dizzy. Whew. That makes me dizzy. <coughs> Boy, I got to wash that good because it smells like somebody's perfume. I think I got another one in here. Uh, another Healing Hands by Premier. Yeah, 3XL. Those should sell, right, huh? That's like a kaleidoscope or spirograph. Huh. All right. Um, got 10 people watching. I hope I have 10 thumbs up. I don't know. I can't see it. Emery Rose 1XL. Has anybody ever sold this brand? I just thought this was adorable. This tunic right here. I don't, I hardly ever look anything up. Maybe jeans I will, but or pants. <coughs> Caribbean Joe is a great seller for me, and it's an extra large button up shirt. That always, I have no problem selling Caribbean Joe. Oh, that perfume has got me coughing. Whew. Well, there went the whole stack on the floor. Yeah, this was from two weeks ago. I wouldn't have bought this. Women Within 3X. I mean, it's cute. And it's got the V-neck with the pin tuck. But I wouldn't have probably bought this yesterday. Went the, well, no, I, I take that back. This is new with tags. So, yeah, I would have. So... Mm, we get women within catalogs here, but I don't think she, I mean, I now order out of catalogs, but she does. Apartment 9, 1X. Please tell me that's not ripped. <sighs> really cute. This is nice for the office, huh? Really nice. Not my colors, but uh, here's the one I was thinking about. Kato extra large. Well, this might have been from yesterday too. This is the one I broke my rule on. This one's from yesterday, but look how wild. <laughs> I 
I had to buy it. I just had to buy it. It's so wild. I remember. So this stuff is obviously mixed up because I was just taking off tags and throwing them in there. Apartment 92X. This is a button up. Look at that. Wow. It's like somebody took their paint brushes and just blotted them everywhere. Cute. That'd be good for Valentine's Day. Um, Cabin Creek. Here's the one I was talking about earlier. 22W. Wrinkle free stain release. This will sell. Cabin Creek is selling really well for me. And the pastels are, are really pretty in this with the cuff sleeve. Yeah, that I won't have any trouble selling that. This is my one Quacker Factory I think I found yesterday. 2X. This is a Halloween or I would guess I will probably put autumn on it because that's all it is. There's nothing. I sent Maggie a Halloween Quacker Factory by mistake. It had a ghost on it. <laughs> Susan Graver. All right. I have stopped picking up larges in Susan Graver. I'm only doing extra L extra large enough unless it's new with tags because it's not selling. Uh, if it sells, it's selling dirt cheap. But it is, this is plain, but it should sell. It's pretty, it's stretchy, and I'm going to just keep picking it up and extra large enough. Unless it's new with tags. Never seen that brand before? Okay. Emery Rose is a shine brand. Oh, crap. Well, I have some shine. I've been picking up a few shines, Crystal, the t-shirts that have really awesome sayings. And I myself have some shine t-shirts that have some awesome sayings on it. But other than that, I don't pick up shine. I never pick up Cabin Creek. A lot of it looks so frumpy. I know, but it keeps selling for me, Maggie. That's what we said about Alfred Dunner. And look what Alfred Dunner has done for our stores. I don't know. And you said you don't pick up button-up shirts either. And I love selling button-up shirts. I don't, I don't know. At least what I find anyway. Okay. Anissa says, absolutely of great shape in 2X. ABS bigger. Okay. See, I know, I know. And I see a lot of Cabin Creek. Do you? I usually see like one or two every time I go. And that's about it. That's about it. All right. Let's go on because I don't have much more. Um, so in love. Uh, this is a strange tag. Now, this is a large because all the so in loves that I got from that lady from that garage sold. But the tag did not look like this. So I'm a little bit concerned. Um, I mean, how many people would... Maybe this is an old tag when they first started making Sew in Love. But that's not the tag that I had. All the Sew in Loves just went right out my store when I got listed them. So I pick it up. Same with Southern Stitch. I sold all my Southern Stitches super fast. And so whenever I see a Southern Stitch, I don't even care what brand, I don't even care what size it is. Maybe if it was a small, I wouldn't get it. I pick it up. You really learn things when you go and you buy somebody's closet out like I did. You just take your chance on the brands and then you figure out, wow, that really does sell fast. Avenue 1820. I wish this was a bigger size. Um, although 18... This is shark bit as well. Um, 18 seems to be, 18 and extra large seems to be one of the most popular sizes in my store. So, but it just seems like every time I find one, it's an 18 to 20. And all right, Maggie, here's the one I showed you on when I sent you that picture. Tell me if I did okay. Has a little snag, but my snag nabbit, my snag nabbit will get this out, or I may just cut it. Uh, probably won't cut it. So here's the detail, Maggie. Look at that sparkly secret. It's green. It's like a green gray, almost. Susan Graver, 1X. Look at that sparkle. 
That's the one I sent you the picture of. It's so, so pretty, this top. Um, but like I said, I can't, it's more of a green than it is a gray. It's like almost like an army green. But, oh, it's so pretty. I don't know. I'm almost tempted to try that on. I don't know. I really don't know what size I am anymore because I just don't know what size I am anymore. I mean, when I went on my diet a couple of years ago, I was down to an extra large, and I know I'm not an extra large anymore. Styling Company 18W. These are some dress pants, and I got them because they're purple. They're comfort waist. They're dress pants, and they're a nice size. So, and they were cheap. <laughs> so. No more, no sale still? Is it liquid knit? No, I wouldn't call it liquid knit. It's close to it, but I don't know. It's not liquid knit. No. We still sell shine if the style is right. Okay. I think Susan Graver runs big. I wore a size medium Susan Graver top the other day. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think we can get away with calling that one liquid knit, Maggie. I really don't. Um, let's send out some more juju. Obviously, my new juju did not work. So let's sell, let's send a different one out. The person hosting the live stream should not be the only one making a sale during the show. <gasps> I really feel, I really want y'all to get some sales. Um, this is a chaps, no brainer for me, 2X. This is a dress, a t-shirt dress. Really cute. I didn't find very many dresses this week. Um, the really good dresses that I found had stains on them. And they were stains enough to where I didn't think I could get them out. So I'm a pretty good stain remover person i have been using grandma secret spot remover and then when i put it in the wash i add oxyclean and um all of the rings around any collars all the stains recently have come out doing it that way you're doing a double duty you know um extra large liz claiborne this is just a really cute sweater um this probably won't sell this season i don't think but it's cute that one I may should have not have picked up. <laughs> um, Styling Company 1X. This is cute. So what are y'all having for dinner tonight? Um, we're having sausage and eggs. My wife is cooking tonight. Yay. I cooked last night salmon. Um, it was awesome. But tonight is her night. To cook so usually she makes sausage and egg tacos but since we can't she can't have tortillas um we'll, we'll just have the sausage with the and eggs mixed up but i might have a carb smart tortilla logo lori goldstein this is size medium um again i'm breaking my rule on this one i don't remember this from yesterday so it may have been one from last week I'm not sure I would have picked this up yesterday because I really, I don't know. Maggie Barnes, 4X. Button up with shoulder pads. Cute purple. Everybody seems to love purple. I mean, I guess a lot, some people don't, but purple's a really big seller. And then this is the dress that goes under it, obviously. 
This is, no, this is not a dress. The, this is a skirt. So it's a skirt and a blazer type deal. So I tied these together. I remember this from last night. I tied these together so I only had to pay once. And, um, another logo medium. Mm -hmm. Does that look like that one? These two go together? No, they're just about the same color, but they're not the same pattern. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that yesterday. Uh, we've got a brown, like a uh, caramel brown sweater by New York. Jones, New York, extra large. It's an open short sleeve cardigan for work. Once again, it's a caramel brown. Doesn't have any pockets. Again, if you're watching later, all of these items are $10 shipped if they're under a pound, $12 shipped if they're over a pound. But please put the timestamp in there for me or I will not find it for days and days. Uh, live and let live extra, extra, extra large. That's the only reason I got it was because of the size and it's shark bit right there. Tunic cute. Don't seem to have any trouble on the, the really large sizes. Oh, got to put patriotic on this one. This must be a med couture. So this is a scrub top. Patriotic 2XL. They had a lot of smaller size scrubs yesterday, and I was so tempted to buy them. But because I'm having trouble listing them in the right category, I passed. They had a lot of Christmas ones. Another Coral Bay 2X. This one has studs on it, like a t shirt type. Material jersey. Uh, what do we got here? CJ Banks again, 1X. This is pretty. Very pretty. This would this would go in a reseller box, of course. If it, you know, I'm not gonna try to put CJ Banks in all the reseller boxes. Have you sold your CJ Banks yet, Maggie? You told me two of them that sold, but I don't remember. I don't think I know what the third one was that sold. This is a pretty color. This is by Romans. It's a 1X. This is a real pretty, I guess you would call it mauve sweater. A waffle knit top, I guess. Yeah, I guess you can get away with calling it a sweater. I don't know. I don't know if you can call waffle knit a sweater. Can you call waffle knit a sweater? I don't know. I think so. To me, that's a sweater, but I don't know. Here's Shine 2XL. It says popcorn. Now, see, I got that one. It's just adorable. And it'll eventually sell. Somebody will want this. You know, I might wear it for a while. Who knows? My grandkids would get a, a kick out of that. Um, you guys let me know if you have any questions before I get off. Worthington Petite Extra Large. Oh, that's pretty. Mm. I can't wait to start listing these. And I won't have to go to the thrift next week. So that's going to help me a whole lot. That's like three and a half hours of my day with the travel and everything and the standing in the checkout line. So next week I can really, really hit it hard. Uh, this is a two X <coughs> live and let live. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautifully done. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put all this stuff. What's nice about selling the appliance parts is I'm not running out of space anymore in my clothing area. 
So I'm not having to panic because I'm not having to list as many pieces of clothing a week. New with tags, Avenue, again, 1820. That's the, you know, a lot of these look the same. I mean, after a while, they all look the same, but they're all different colors. And, and this one has a little buckle on the side. Isn't that cute right there? I just, I, when people come to my store, I want them to just see colors and patterns and, you know, pop things that pop, you know, out at them on the screen. Like, wow, that's bright. That's colorful. It's, it's cool, you know, but then you have those like this one, <laughs> uh, Lula Row extra large. Is this a dress? Uh, yeah, this is a dress. But it's very, very, it's gray and white and black, but it's a mini dress. Very subtle. Once I get all these extra smalls and larges weeded out of my store, I think my store is going to do a lot better. I really do. I think I will keep the clients that, that I want to keep in. Super soft by Torrid. I don't think I saw hardly any Torrid yesterday. So I don't even know how to. I guess this is called a cranberry pink. And this would be a mini dress, a shirt dress. Really cute. I want to call that a cranberry pink, but I don't, or cranberry red. It's a really pretty color. That would be a great lipstick shade. Almost done, guys. Mm. I'm serious. If anybody wants to hang out tomorrow morning, uh, I'm game. I have to go on the clock at three, but I will probably be working in the morning. Slinky brand 3X. This is from two weeks ago because I didn't find any Slinky brand yesterday. This is open. Bell sleeve. Yeah, real pretty. I would never started selling Slinky Brand if I hadn't gotten that crummy wholesale box. Because there was some Slinky Brand in there. And I had never heard of it. And then after I got the box, I started seeing it every, you know. I love this. The rope around the neck. I love this. Oh my gosh. Styling Company. Extra large. I love the rope. For some reason. I don't know. I love it. That's it. That's a lot of clothes. Um, so between this and the appliances that I have, and maybe I'll go out this weekend and look for more appliances. I think I'm set for the next two weeks. Oh, crud. I'm going too fast. What was the last top? The floral one. it. All right, I'm going to go backwards here. She wanted the Worthington top for one thing. I think Susan Graver is runs big. Okay, she got that. Was that Lori Goldstein? Ah, dog it. <sighs> okay, let's let's answer your questions one at a time. The Slinky brand is Sorry, Maggie. Nobody was buying anything, so I haven't really been looking. Uh, 3X. Not your size. Sorry. Um, yeah, 3X. All right, you said a floral top. Um, no, not yet. The third was soft surroundings. Okay, it's cute. Can I have the Worthington top? Uh, I'm just, I'm going backwards. It wasn't this one, right? This is um, Styling Company Extra Large. It wasn't that one, was it? I don't think so, because your comment was way up there. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. That'd even be even better. The Worthington top should be right here, though. I think this is it right here. The petite extra large. I'm going to hold this up, Maggie. 
Is this the one that you definitely want for Worthington? The petite extra large? Say yes or no. And then you can tell me the other ones after the show. And then I'll just invoice you. Maggie has this thing where she's she she has to pay for watching YouTube live streams. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm putting that one aside for Maggie. And then I don't know about the floral top, Maggie. But I've been going now for an hour and 20 minutes. So go in about an hour and 15, 17. And then I'll tell you the floral top. Um, I did this floral one by Avenue around that time. That was an 1820. I love that. Love that. That wasn't it, was it? The new tags, uh, Avenue. Okay. You want to watch from the beginning anyway. Okay. I'm going to kind of keep these on top because obviously that's where you were. All right. Anybody else have any questions for me? Anything they want to say? Any birthdays that I missed? Cause I don't, don't know somebody had a birthday last week and I can't remember who it was, but I don't think it was somebody that came in today. Anybody else have anything else? Any concerns in the community um, that I need to know about? Everybody keep praying for Jennifer Hayes, Pat D, Cindy Y, Lisa C, um, Maggie's family keep praying for Adam. Um, I talked to Adam today. Um, I'm surprised he's not here, but, um, you know, keep praying for him. He has ongoing health issues and there he is. I just took my non pretty clothes out of the dryer. <laughs> okay. I thought you were still here. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and start measuring men's shirts. Isn't that exciting? Um, hopefully I'll see y'all su Sunday on my live strip, uh, live shipping video. All right, everyone have a beautiful evening and stay warm.